What's good, YouTube Land Nelson from back again once again. And today, today we are here for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, we created, uh, we completed the third trial in our uh, list of things to do for the keepers. Um, while it didn't really yield very much, we did understand something. I did understand something afterwards. So we were shown three Deathly Hallows in uh, Fitzgerald, Professor Fitzgerald's trial, and it made me understand that it wasn't just death that she was working against or trying to avoid. Deathly Hallows are connected to that. If you know anything about Harry Potter, Harry Potter you will understand what they are. Um, I'll explain after we, we have magic class, but like, what Isadora is doing is connected to death in a very direct way. We'll, we'll piece it together as you go along. So we're gonna have class, magic history class with Professor Bins, one of the longest running teachers. He... In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphs. This is rather interesting, actually. I'm not wearing but my more uniform. Specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard <laughs> struggling to stay awake industry. actually we do know the number 632 but history occurs outside the classroom and look it's time for my constitutional one can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. Okay. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along I'm not wearing my uniform. That's really bad. How can I be showing up to class with him not in my uniform? completed in the late early middle ages the hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts this man should be folding through walls man good to see you again recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox have we i uh that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Gok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the bell tower entrance hall. And then all students introduce themselves to this hero. Can you tell me where I might find Grimbald Weft? Oh yes, Grimbald Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his case. Okay. 
Abandoning class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Binz's manner of teaching. Rebellion. Says Gaggletop the Heedless once challenged a mountain... These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called Selene Wartnobby. Rumor has it, she was demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. She was never seen again. Perhaps she succeeded. I suppose we'll never know. What I wouldn't give to be back on a broom right now. So you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights. Or Jeez. rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen-eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Halfpuddle of the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. His fame was not won by vanquishing foes in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons, but rather in training yards and sculleries. Where his warm and approachable this demeanor is a was celebrated old by old family. friends and bloody companions. People have always loved their pets. Revelio. I find that comforting. There's nothing quite so magical as history. Dusty, immutable history. This unassuming smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. I suppose successful is a relative term, since whoever cast it didn't live to tell the tale. Jesus, okay. Rebellion. Um... I think I could hear it. The Hogwarts founders could never have achieved such architectural majesty. Powerful okay. Okay. Hogwarts is in. Uh, Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Athapuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide. Mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Okay, that's history class done. And we got new spell class. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least I like to say that. So, as I was saying, Professor Binns is perhaps one of the oldest teachers serving at Hogwarts by the time Harry attends the school. So <laughs> no, facts. 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 Uh, yeah, one of the oldest, uh, oldest teachers at Hogwarts. He, unfortunately, went to sleep and perished at his desk. Um, 
So he never realized he turned into a ghost as a result, really. Uh, what was the other quest we wanted to do? Sorry, as I was saying, um, Isadora is messing with ancient magic that she barely understands. And I think death is connected to it in a rather roundabout kind of way. Maybe more direct than I'm giving it credit for until, well, until I get more information about how... how it's connected. Having the the Deathly Hallows involved isn't shouldn't have been done with like small things in mind. It should be should have been a rather big thing to go and sit there and do. But I'm still trying to figure that out. I haven't had that much time to think about it. But I feel like if I take the time I might figure something out. Okay, ancient magic throw and that's concentration three. That one. So let's see where we can get this grab this phoenix. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts, and Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Indeed, think so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Let's see how far we got to go. Okay, so we can start heading out to the Phoenix Mountain Cave. Okay, things are slowly now pulling us out. Of our comfort zone. But it's been a while since we've like gone out and done some actual exploring. So it may take us a while to kind of get to where we're trying to get to. Kind of have to figure out how to get there. the treasure vault.
Alohomora. Oh, a treasure vault with a door. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Where'd they go? Oh, there is. There we go. Wooden spectacles. Never noticed those before. Okay. Minor detour. Okay, that's a bit rude. <laughs> Give me your boogers, buddy. Rebellion. Okay, this might take us a little while to get to. <laughs> See, me. to put you work for me now
Stupid troll. Gosh, okay. Um, I was not expecting all of this to today. I don't think I have to do these anymore. Revelio. Get up there. Burgers. Okay. There's still more enemies here. Cruelty one. Oi, oi. demise.
Okay, this was far more than I expected to have to do today. But adventure is adventure, right? That's our first rest stop. Let's go. Dead. I'll get that. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcross as soon as you can. Well, I was gonna have to wait, bro.
I feel like th with how big this area is, this should have been like a main quest kind of thing where you kind of go through it and work your way. Revelio. This is magnificent. Like, it's just how it looks, like the grandeur of it. Okay, let's keep pushing forward. So we're almost at the other end. Goblins really are. Okay, antique compass. Okay. Our adventure continues. Just leaving money lying around. Can't be leaving money around, around with me. I'm basically a kleptomaniac at this point. It's not nailed down, I'm stealing it. What do you have for me this time? Basically, you don't have to do Merlin trials anymore. Oh gosh. That scared me. Yes, you almost just lose sight of that. That was close. What's here? Moonkoff Den. Fall into the territory. Revelio. Mm. 
Okay. Let's keep going. No need to race now, my friend. Oh, a power spot. Hamora. I'm just doing everything other than the mission we need to do. Maybe not. Right idea, wrong place. Right idea, wrong place. Okay. Incendio. Trail because I don't want to lose too much time here. Now, there we go. One of the little bastards scratch me. Be it upon your head when I'll 
I like Thestral. Best thing in the world, finding a place in your trap. Oh, am I stuck? In the heart of the battle. Almost there. Revelio. Okie dokie. He will come back in the next episode to go do this. I have a feeling we're going to encounter something extremely dangerous, as the signs say. <sighs> I think I'm good for today. So I will catch you cats later.